Adding light to your scene is very important. It attracts the eye in the different parts of your render. In this tutorial, I'm going to use Fluent Materializer to make a sci-fi style sign. So here I have a basic sign that you can find in sci-fi scenes with two parts. So the base that is attached to the wall and the sign itself, the parts that will be lit. It's very important that the part that is the sign is matching where you want to display your text or your logo. First of all, I'm gonna control C to copy this object and I'm going to copy by pressing control V in a different Blender project. The importance here is we use this as a reference to see the limits of the image that we would like to create. The second step is to add a camera and rotate it so it matches the orientation of your object. Then we're gonna move it a bit and go to the camera settings, change it to orthographic, press zero to go to the camera view and change the resolution so it matches the format of your sign. So it depends if the sign is horizontal or vertical, you want to match the resolution. Good, uh, you need to adjust the orthographic factor and move a bit the sign and play with the factor and the orientation of the sign. Good, so you can keep a margin on the sides, top and bottom. Go to the render properties and under the film menu, you have to tick transparent. So we're good with the basic setup. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use Fluent Modeler for the modeling parts, but you can use any other tool. The idea here is to use this as a background and reproduce the shape you want in your sign. So for this tutorial, I will use, I will use the, the shape tool from Fluent Modeler, but like I said, you can use any other tool. It's just to make it a little bit quicker and I explain you the process as we go. So I would like to make something that matches the shape of the screen. This is important. So uh, the image that we will create is not uh, deformed afterwards. This is a sci-fi object and uh, usually in sci-fi you have some kind of shape like this. 45 degrees angles, a little bit everywhere. Don't hesitate as you are modeling, go back to the camera view to see uh, the result and how it, uh, how it goes. Great, I think the, the sidebar is pretty good. I would like to add a text now. So I'm gonna use the basic text feature from uh, Blender and I'm gonna type food. I would like to have the, the text as vertical text. So I will press enter and enter a new uh, letter, enter, new letter, enter, new letter. Good. I'm going to change the alignment to center and I will also change the font. So you can use any font you want. Uh, for this tutorial I will use this font because it works pretty well. I'm gonna rotate the text and go back to the view so we can match the text with the formats of the screen and I think I'm good to go. So we're gonna select the object reference we use because we don't need it anymore. We're gonna hide it from the render and the preview. 
let's go to random mode in the world i'm going to press zero as the strength of the world light open a new tab and go to shading editor for this i'm going to add a new material delete the principal bsdf and add an emission let's also assign this material on the different objects change the strength to three and i would like to make sci-fi color like this one for example we can render save the render as a png and rgba very important to have this transparency save it and go back to your previous project. For this basic setup, you need to go to screen, insert a screen shader and a pixel shader. So the screen shader uh, will work a little bit better with the pixel shader and the pixel shader is where all the magic will happen with the transformation of the image. So. As you can see, we don't have any image inputs here. Um, Blender doesn't allow uh, group nodes to have an image input. So you need to go inside this node by pressing tab, go in the node that is selected in red, select the node, press tab again, and we have the image over there. So Open the image you just created. Make sure to change this to clip, very important. And we can click two times on the arrow to go back to the shader. So open the UV editor, select your object, go to face mode, select the face, press U and select and wrap. Make sure that this is matching your image. We can scale it up and scale it down. Don't scale it on only one axis, for example, like this or like this, because this will uh, change the shape of the image and you will, you will have distortion. Great, you can press Ctrl I and this will select all the other faces. And if the faces are, for example, on the image, you need to select them all by pressing A in this window and press G to move them out of the image. We can show the render view and we have this result. By default, you have some glitch and, uh, and some effects that is applied to the image. I will reduce all the glitch to zero because I don't want them in this example. So put everything to zero. Changing the resolution is how many pixels you see on the image. So if you put something like 128 you see it is it's more pixelized image so it's pretty cool effect for this sign i would like to have a transparent background and to do so we need to change the alpha if you reduce the alpha you will see through the background let's increase a bit the emission uh, the emission max and emission mean is because you have some variation that you can change with the offset, by the way. There are usually some parts that are more lit than others. So this is the mean and max. If you don't want to, you put exactly the same amounts in the mean and max and you will not see uh, variations. I would like to see a little bit of variation. Uh, this, this part, for example, is a little bit darker than this one. Let's change the background color if you would like to have like more opaque uh, results
and play with the backlight strength to make it a little bit more uh, lit. For better results, we'll increase the number of dead pixels. It had some imperfections. And you can also play with the different glitches if you want. And I will let you play with the different settings. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and see you on the next one.